Hello, this is James Baer from the WebLogic server team. I want to give you a quick demonstration of a cool new scripting tool that someone um, in our support organization, Antonio Dewan, had put together. And I wanted to show it to you guys and get some feedback from you. And it's a really neat little nifty tool. So the whole concept, uh, we have this a sample code site where people can uh, create projects and share utilities and sample code and things like that. And so this project is called WST on Web. And right now, there's just a simple WAR file, WST on web.war file, that you can deploy. I've got it deployed on my server right now. And as you can see, it just uh, has a context path there. So let's go check it out and see what it does. Um, when you log in here, you can put in your credentials for the server you're going to be using. And I'm just going to use T3 and uh, connect into my local host on port 7001 but I could connect to a remote server as well. And what you end up getting is uh, an interactive shell um, that is much like what you would get from WLST on the command line. But now I can, can do this all um, via the web interface. I don't actually have to have access to a terminal. So I could do this remotely from a phone, or from uh, a friend's computer or something. I, I don't necessarily have to have PuTTY and all that kind of thing set up um, if you use a tool like this. So this is just like you'd expect. I can do ls, and then it puts all the output up, up here, um, just like always um, standard WLST um, interface here, present working directory. Uh, tells you where I am. I'm in the server config tree. So, and there's nothing uh, all that exciting about that aspect other than it's on the web, and so that, that's pretty nifty in and of itself. But then he added some other features which are really cool too. So, he allows you to mount a directory um, in your domain called WLST scripts. And let me just show you that quickly if I can. So, this is um, in my base domain. There's a a folder here called WLST scripts and here's a bunch that he provides with the application and a bunch of different WLST scripts. So if you go see here you can see those same scripts stored here and if I click on one of them let's just say the readme um, and you can um, see that it's just going to print out some information um, that uh, this is from Antonio Dewan that's his contact information and that's about it right so you know a little pithy uh, comment there um, but if you go, let's say, go look at the application uh, directory, and there's this application status. And so what this is going to do is CD into your app deployments, get all the application statuses, and print them. So that's kind of neat. Um, so let's do that. So up here now we go back to the upper window, and we can see that um, for the admin server, there is the uh, work manager that is a web application that's active a C web application that is active and the WST on web application that's active, right? So you can do a whole bunch of um, scripts like that. Uh, he has some other ones as well. Um, I can download these and delete these and manage these scripts from here. I could modify this script and then save input as and that will actually save it on the file system. So it's kind of a, a really neat way to manage your WST scripts. Um, and I can also add to it myself. So let's say I create a a new script here in my domain. I'm going to record a script and let's say I want to enable the administration port for example and I'm going to just um, save that setting and now it redirects me to using the admin port and I can go see my recording that I just finished for the Python script So this enables the admin port. Okay, so I'm going to now save this and to my WLST scripts directory and I'll call it, make a new directory called admin and call it admin port. Enable admin port. Now if I go back to my WLST on web interface, refresh, and I have an admin directory and enable admin port and I can execute that from here.
So pretty neat little tool. Check it out. Um, Antonio loves your feedback. He's already made a couple of uh, changes to the application um, to enhance the usability um, after some of my suggestions. And thanks a lot for your time.